Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with some beauty favorites and I have some I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna start with something, I'm well there's two things. And I'm using these both for the care of my brushes. The first one was an accident. I ordered from Ulta and what I was trying to order was this African black soap that I use to clean. I've used that for a couple of years and I use that on really all my brushes up to this point, but I still love the bar for about this size, like eye brushes, concealer brushes, blending brushes. I don't like using this bar with bigger brushes. I just, there's something I don't like dragging this whole big brush over a bar of soap. I just don't like that. Well, I ordered from Ulta and I was trying to order that bar and I got in the African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash. So I started using this on my bigger brushes and I love it. I love this. It gets them nice and clean, and I think it's gentle on my brushes. And I can use this on any of my bigger brushes. I still don't like putting black on lighter brushes. Something about it. I just don't like pouring a black substance on this beautiful cream-colored hourglass brush. So what I've been using on this is another favorite, and that is Woolite. Um, I always have this under my sink. I use it for my workout tops. And so I started using this on my delicate looking makeup brushes like this. I think I've got some, um, I've got a MAC blush brush that's white. I just don't like putting black on this. So I'm using Woolite. It takes a couple of times, you know, just pouring this on it. And then it, you know, it gets it nice and clean. So I love that and I love the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash. Um, I'm linking it. It's going to look like I linked the bar, but it says Soothing Body Wash. So I'm assuming you'll get that just like I did. Okay, next is another wash, but this is a body wash. Okay, I got this from my friend Nira for Christmas. She gave our whole friend group these little sponges that are already loaded with bath gel. Okay, I did not think I was going to like this, but I thought, well, my friend Neri gave it to me and I love her. So I wanted to use it, y'all. I love this so much. I texted her and said, where? Where did you get that? She got it at a little shop, I think outside of Fredericksburg, and she sent me the link. They don't have this exact one. I think this was a Christmas sponge. But they have others, and I have them in my cart. I am going to order more of these, and I'll keep y'all posted on the flavors I like. I also found them on another website. They have a heart, a pink heart one. So I'm going to try more of these. These are by a company called Carrie Karen, C-A-R-E-N, and I will have some of them listed down below. And this is just. It never runs out of this soap. I've been using it since right after Christmas, and I'm still getting a lot of good suds out of it. Okay, next, I have a couple of makeup products. And the first one, y'all, okay, I had this liner. This is a lip liner. This is Pat McGrath Buff. And I am so in love with this liner. I ordered about four of them. One for my bathroom, one for right here, a couple for my purses. What I love about this, it's that soft kind of liner. Hold on, let me get my other one that's sharper. I'm telling y'all I have about four of these. Okay, that's what it looks like. And the website describes this as a warm nude. And it is warm, but what I love about it is, like today, I have on a very cool look. I've got on grays, um, pinks. Okay, when I put this on, it pulls a little bit like a dusty pink color. I can wear this with warms or cools, and it pulls kind of with whatever I'm wearing. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can get, I've got a good amount on, but we'll try a little bit more. I 
I love how easy it goes on. How smooth it goes on. And it is just, this is my perfect, perfect lip liner. I love it. Pat McGrath Buff. It's beautiful. Okay, something else I'm loving, and honestly, this could be a lot of different powders. This could be a drugstore powder. My favorite to do this, what I'm about to tell you about, is with the Hourglass Diffuse Light. This technique is the entire reason that I replaced the Hourglass Diffuse Light. This is beautiful under your eyes. It's beautiful and brightening under your eyes. And it's very light. It's beautiful through the center of your face. But what I replaced this for, this is my second one of these, is for blending eyeshadow. Using this, this is what I have on my brow bone today. And nothing blends eyeshadow like a powder. Not an eyeshadow powder, just a regular face powder. And that is what I love this diffuse light for. And I had forgotten about this technique until recently I was having real estate pictures made. So, you know, I was really trying to be extra, trying to get my makeup to look really good. And I was like, why don't I do that anymore? So I did it and fell in love with it. It blends eyeshadow beautifully. So really my favorite is powder used to blend my eyeshadow just on that brow bone. But the diffuse light is so pretty for that because it's so brightening. So. Okay, next, and I don't know that I've ever mentioned this powder on my channel in my life a long time ago. I think at an Ulta sale or, yeah, it was probably an Ulta sale. I picked up the MAC Mineralize. Now, I love my MAC Skin Fix. Skin Fix? Studio Fix. Studio Fix. It's a full cover powder and this is my go-to my absolute favorite full cover powder this is beautiful well i was over here in my backups one day and i was like do i have another one of my studio fixes well this wasn't studio fix it was mac mineralized and i was like i remember buying that this is what it looks like it's got it's baked so it's got a little bit of that luminous kind of finish, but not shiny at all. I was like, well, I'll try it. <laughs> Y'all, this is beautiful. I would say it rivals any of those luminous type powders, like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic. I don't even know if she has that anymore. And the um, Hourglass, that Hourglass powder, this is just as pretty. Oh, y'all, this is the most beautiful powder. Okay, and I will tell y'all, when I had those real estate pictures made, I had a makeup artist do my makeup. It was mandatory. We had to have a makeup artist do it, and I did not like it. So I left, and I redid my makeup, and when I went back, she was like, what do you have on your face? She was using all one brand that I'm not going to mention here because I don't want to down it. And it's a good brand. I did not like her professional makeup near as much as I like this. I was like, yeah, it's MAC. <laughs> it's MAC Mineralize. This is beautiful. Beautiful. It just, you can see, it's like it adds a filter to your face. And I'm obsessed. Okay, then I have a couple of primers. And the first one Okay, y'all, this is clearly not new on the market. This um, a Hollywood Flawless Filter. I was very slow to love this. Let me tell you why I love it right now. As a primer, not as a highlighter. I don't use this as a highlighter. But as a primer, it gives the most beautiful glow, which you probably all know. It gives a beautiful glow and just makes your face look healthier in your skin better than it is. Let me tell you why I highly recommend this over a lot of my others that I have forever. I will have this for forever. I've been using this, only this, nonstop 
for the last month. For the last month, I've used this every day, or maybe a month and a half. I'll show you where I am. I'm right here. If I used anything else, like I use this, and I use it liberally all over my face, but it's got this dope bit, so I'm like, you know, packing it on over here because I don't have a light touch. Then I dip again, and I'm packing it on over here and then all over my face. And I still have only used to right here. So if you, you know, like a really nice product, but you're like, I don't want to buy that two or three times a year. I bet this will last me at least a year. I want to say maybe two. This is never going away. <laughs> never. So if you've wanted to pick this up, but you're like, well, you know, I'm thinking about my budget. Is that really in it? It will last you forever. This one and another one that I'm using right now by Charlotte worth the splurge because it lasts forever and that is the film star okay the reason i have this in here right now because i had this in my favorites a couple of months ago and it is i've used this every day for the better part of i don't know seven months and that's where i am and i bet i've got months and months left it just does not go away but the favorite that i wanted in here this is a favorite, but it was a favorite a couple months ago, is this fan brush. This is a Sonia G Fan Pro. And I think up until kind of recently, this was only in sets. You can get this for 30 or 35. This is my favorite brush to use with this bronzer for, I take this, dip it in here, tap it off, and then right here, on the inner corner of my nose. And that, I don't remember whose channel I saw that on, is so pretty to make your bone structure right there um, just good. It just really makes that sharp through there. And then every day, right here, right above where my nose turns up, and right below my nose to make it kind of look more upturned than it is every day, y'all. I do that. And I love that step. And I love this brush for that step. It's just the perfect density. It's not overly flat. It's not overly flat. It's not overly long. Just everything about this brush for my size of face, it's perfect for that. Okay, then I have a couple of fragrances. And the first one, I did a favorite vanilla fragrances a couple of months ago. And one of you girls told me I needed to get the Bonfire Bash. So I did on Amazon. This is by Bath and Body Works. It's just a body mist. And this is a smoky vanilla. Yes, it's a smoky vanilla. I would say heavy on the vanilla, maybe equal parts vanilla and smoke, but it's a mellow smoke. It's not like acrid or um, harsh. Yes, it's a mellow smoke. A mellow smoke and a deep, rich vanilla. Hang on. Let me read the notes to you. It says it's a sweet, subtle, smoky blend of vanilla bourbon. Yep, that's what it smells like. It smells like vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. That is the perfect description. Marshmallows toasting to gooey perfection. Yeah, I can smell marshmallow, all that. That's a perfect description of it. So, yeah, I love, love the Bonfire Bash. So love that. Several of y'all like that. And then next, I do, I am doing fragrance use-ups where I can use anything, but once a day, I'm going to use whatever I'm using up. And I just finished Juicy Bodacious and loved it. It was a great everyday, just a sweet but not cloying fragrance. So I wanted something else sweet. I didn't get that out. I never get that out of my system. So I picked up my Dolce & Gabbana Garden. I love this so much. Every morning I spray this on and I usually touch up sometime through the day because this is one of those fragrances you can do that with. 
you can't really, I mean, I guess you can get too much, but I will spray it. And then when I can't smell it anymore, I'll spray it again. Not if I'm out showing houses, but when I'm at home, I will just pretty much take a bath in this. It's not offensive. I get tons of compliments on it, especially from my husband. When he's walking through, he's like, you smell good. And um, yeah, so this is just a good one. Let's see, the notes in this, it's a floral. It's a floral and a warm and spicy gourmand. It's got the keynotes are Mandarin, Magnolia Accord, Neroli, Frangipani Flower Accord. That Frangipani adds something a little different than a lot of fragrances I have. Um, this may have been the first Frangipani I ever had. And Francis Happiness Sparkles might have been the one that talked about Frangipani. It just is like a tropical flower that is beautiful. I'd never smelled it before this. It adds a different kind of note. Coconut essence, Elang, vanilla absolute, almond milk accord, and sandalwood accord. So it's just smooth, floral, and warm. Okay, and then my last thing is something that I'm using on my nails. Um, if you've been here, you know that I love my Kiss Nails. I love not going to the salon. I love saving the money. I love how they look every single time I do them. They are perfect and the same, and I love them. What I noticed, though, after not going to the salon for about a year, year and a half, are we going on to? My cuticles were looking ragged because, you know, I wasn't getting them clipped anymore. So I was just losing nails and putting them back on and losing nails. So now I've started taking a little more attention with my nails. I'm buffing them off and, you know, making them look healthy before I slap another nail on there. And so I started clipping my cuticles and realized how important good cuticle clippers are. And I found these on Amazon. They are nice and sharp. If you get them, be careful. I have made myself bleed once with them, but it didn't really hurt. Um, these are just great at getting right up next to your skin and just it gets anything. These are nice and sharp. Got them on Amazon for not very much. So I'm gonna link these down below for you. And that's everything. That is all of my favorite beauty products for this month and I'm loving them. Y'all definitely let me know down below anything you're loving because I probably will pick it up and love it with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.